there was something wrong with my computer. Yes, sir, your computer is something wrong. Some hackers inside your computer, and he will corrupt your computer day by day without your good knowledge. And that's the reason we are calling you today to show you the problem, sir. Because when you do any online activities in your computer, so that is the reason some online infection hackers automatically downloading in your computer without your knowledge. So that's why we are calling you today to show and you, you. And you're from, micro the you're from Microsoft, you said? No, 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 sir. I'm not calling you from the Microsoft. Microsoft not call a customer and fix the computer. We are a satisfied technician department. This call is about your computer, okay? And this is a checkup call by the Windows technical department, okay? How, uh, how have you connected the computer that's making these complaints to you to me? Yes, yes, I will tell you. I will tell you, sir, your computer is connected with our, your CLS ID number. Your CLS ID number but, is registered. But how do you know that that computer, how do you know that that computer is me? How did you yes, connect that yes, computer sir. to my phone number? Yes, sir, I will tell you, sir, because your computer license security ID number is registered with your internet connection. And your, your internet connection is registered with your phone number. And that's the reason why I know that your computer has a security ID number and your phone number. So first I will tell you your phone number. Your phone number is... Well, ob obviously you know my phone number. You just dialed it, so... Because, sir, you are our registered customer. That's the reason we have your phone number, okay? And if you don't believe me, sir, you do one thing. You turn on your computer. I will show you the problems in your computer without the internet connection. And you are the literal person, so you know that, sir. Without the internet connection, nobody can access in your computer, right? Okay. Well, I, it is yes. connected to the internet. It's powered up. You're you're welcome to remote into it if you like. Sorry. The computer is turned on. It's at my desktop, and you are welcome to remote into it if you like to show me these things. No, sir. This is not the same at all. First, you tell me your computer is turned on at the moment. Yes. Okay, and you are the main owner of this computer? Yes. Okay, so first what I will do, I will show you the problems, okay? First I will give you my proof, okay? So sir, you look at your keyboard, okay? Yes, I see it. Yes, the left hand side down the corner, you see is the TTRL button, is the control button. I see that. Beside the control button, you see is the four flag windows button. Yes, I see that. Yeah, yeah. So, sir, you one finger, you press four flag windows button and hold it, okay? And another finger, you press letter R button. R like Russia, R like Ronaldo. You see letter R button? Yes, uh, it brings up a run box. Yes, yeah, so you press windows and letter R, and you tell me then what can you see? It brings up a run box. Yes, you see the run box. Great. So, sir, you type over here in the box, C, C like Charlie. You can, you can, you can speak more at an adult level with me if you'd like. What, uh, what do you want me to type in this box? Okay, you type in over there, it's C like Charlie. Yes, I've got that. Uh, did you, uh, okay. did you transfer? Have I been transferred to someone else? Yeah, exactly, sir. This one has been transferred to the senior technical department. My name is Jack Wilson. Okay? Jack Jack Wilson? Yeah. All right. Okay. My name is Jack Wilson. I'm as a mother. Wait, the, the, okay. connection, the connection is very poor. I'm telling you to type in over there, C as in Charlie, then M as in mother, then D as in doctor. Okay, so you want a command line? Okay. Yeah, exactly. I've got a, I've got a command now, line. Okay. Now you can see that, sir, in the black video, your name is written, and just beside your name, a small cursor is blinking. Can you see that? Well, it's, it's not my name, but uh, yes. Okay. Now you type in over there. A as in America. Okay. Okay. Then S as in sugar. Uh huh. Then again S as in sugar. 
O as in Oscar, C as in Charlie. Okay. Okay. That's true. This is A as in O C, which stands for Administrative Security System of Computer. All right. Now you press on Enter key for your keyboard. Press on Enter. Okay. It it produced the list of file associations when I did that. Exactly. So these are the software and the files program which are pop up in your screen at the moment. Now at the bottom of your screen, you see it says, uh, like oh, there is a line you see it says ZF send to target equal to CLS ID, or you see anything like zip compress folder. I do see a uh, uh, dot zip equal compressed folder. Okay, and just above that line, you can see it says ZF send to target equal to CLS ID. Uh, no, the next one above dot zip is dot zap, which apparently is a zap file. Above dot zap file, so above that, can you see it says ZF send to target equal to CLS ID? Can you see that? No, the uh, the next one above dot zap is dot z ninety six, and it's equal to nothing. Above that is dot z equal nothing, and then above that is dot xl. I'm sorry, dot xsl equal xsl five. Okay, okay, I understand you. You go at the same bottom of this black window, at the same bottom of the black window. Okay. Yes. And the bottom of the window, just above that line, you can see it says zip compress folder. I see that. And just above that line, you see it says zip as send to target equal to CLS ID. That, that is not there. No, I do not see that. That is not in this screen. I'm seeing the list, and it's not there. What do you see? Does that mean that maybe this computer isn't the one that you're getting reported of problems from? It means so your computer license security ID number has been removed from your computer without your permission, okay? Okay. I uh, sure. Can you see over the zip compress folder? What you tell me that? Can you see that? Yes. This is this is the third time you've asked me this. Same answer okay, every I time. See. Yes. That I'm zip equal compressed folder is there. Okay. And just above that line, what line do you see? Dot zap equal zap file. That's period z a p equal. Z A P F I L E. And above that line, what can you see? Dot Z96 equal. Okay. Between Zap and Zip, you, you don't see anything like ZF send to target equal to C R C D? No. No. For the fourth time, no. for the fourth time, no. I There, there is a lot of background noise on your, your phone line. Can you do something about that? Hello? I'm here. I, I, I'm having much difficulty understanding you. No, it's not there. You're, you're welcome. You're welcome to come into the machine and look for yourself, but it's not there. Yes, I do not. I do not want to enter inside your machine and take out any information. So, as you are a registered customer of Windows, I want to tell you the ID number from my side, and you match it in your computer. And if the ID is matching, then only you talk to me. And if the ID is not matching, then you can simply hang up the line, sir. Okay? Uh, okay, I'm not sure what you said, but, but whatever. Okay, I 
sell the ID from my side. If you see that ID number, you match it in your computer. Okay. It is 888-DCA. Hey, 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 hey. You guys have asked me four okay. times if that number is there, and all four times I said it is not. So you telling me the number to match it to something that's not on my computer doesn't make much sense. Wouldn't you agree? Hey, cut, Rabbi. 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 Cut, Rab